What's up guys welcome back to another video. We have a new update rolling out for OnePlus 7 series and this time it's Oxygen OS 11 Open Beta 2. Few days back we received Open Beta 1 which is based on Android 11 and today we have a new update rolling out for same devices which is Oxygen OS Open Beta 2. First let's talk about the installation process. So if you guys are running stable channel of Oxygen OS which is based on Android 10 then you need to download the complete zip file. Once you do that just download that file and place it inside the internal storage of your device. Once you are done placing the file inside internal storage, go to settings, system, system update, tap on this gear icon towards the right top corner, select local upgrade and you should find the file which you have placed it inside the internal storage. And the same method can be used if you are already running open beta 1 and if you haven't received the OTA update. But before doing anything make sure to take a backup of your device. So we are already done with the installation process on our OnePlus 7 Pro. On the previous version which was Oxygen OS open beta 1, the camera version was 6.4.23 and on this latest build camera version is 6.4.34. No major changes to be seen but let's see if OnePlus have improved the picture quality or not. That will cover it in a review video in which we'll include few samples taken after updating the device. So you guys let me know in the comment section below what all bugs you have been facing on Oxygen OS Open Beta 1. We'll cover everything in our review video. Now let's talk about the change logs what they have done with the Oxygen OS Open Beta 2. On Open Beta 2 they have done lots of optimizations related to system. First one they have optimized the sliding effect of dynamic live wallpapers. Right now there are no dynamic live wallpapers installed on my device. If you guys notice any major changes do let me know in the comment section below. After that they have also optimized the battery consumption of the device but that I can only confirm you guys after using the device for a day or two. So battery section also will be covered in our review video. Later few optimizations they have also done related to auto brightness. And then they have also fixed the adapter not charging and using headphone at the same time. On the previous update I did not notice any kind of such issues. But if you guys have noticed then do let me know in the comment section below. Another fix is related to battery icon in which people must have reported that battery icon was not being displayed in the status bar. Basically I don't use any battery bar in the status bar. I always keep it hidden but on this update if I enable battery bar there are no issues. It can be easily seen in the status bar. And at last they have also fixed this tips and support was not being displayed in the settings panel. Talking about the next change log which is related to camera in which they have fixed some flashback issues while using pro mode. I never noticed such kind of issues but if you guys have noticed then do let me know in the comment section below. Last but not the least finally oneplus have added always on display on their oneplus 7 series and most of the users were waiting for this feature. But before enabling this you need to keep one thing in mind oneplus have already mentioned that that it might consume more battery and currently it's still in development phase so it's not available inside the display section you need to go to utilities oneplus lab and here you should be able to see always on display after adding always on display they have also removed dc dimming feature which was previously available under oneplus lab so under always on display we have three options one is you can completely turn it off if you want you can schedule it and also if you want to keep it on throughout the day you can select the third one i have personally tested always on display i haven't found any kind of issues yet And now talking about the benchmark results here single core have scored 713 and multi core have scored 2434. On Oxygen OS open beta 1 single core scores were 724 and multi core scores were 2384. With Android 2 benchmark application beta 2 have scored 4,52,143 wherein results on beta 1 was 4,44,150. So slightly higher benchmark results to be seen on Oxygen OS open beta 2. So guys this was all about the latest update for OnePlus 7 series. If you still have any kind of questions let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to cover all the questions in a review video. As of now only this much in this video. Hope you guys like the video. If you like the video then do give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.